Hello my pre-calculus student. In this video, we continue to learn how to use trigonometric identity to simplify trigonometric expression. So let's begin with the following expression. 1 divided by cosine of x times 1 minus sine square of x. Since we see the exponent here too, so we, we go ahead and use the Pythagorean identity. Don't say you Pythagorean identity. So we will substitute 1 minus sine square of x become cosine square of x. So the first fraction stays the same. And 1 minus sine square now become cosine square of x. Next we will multiply. So we end up with cosine square of x times 1 is cosine square of x divided by cosine of x. Next we want to divide by cosine of x. So we will our final answer is just cosine of x. So therefore we can conclude that 1 over cosine of x times 1 minus sine square of x just equal cosine of x. Sorry, I write the data to the x. Okay, let's move on to example 2. So in this example, we are going to simplify by factoring. So given the, ex the expression sine square of x times cos sine of x, minus sine of pi over 2 radian minus x. So the first step we are going to use is that we are going to use the co-function identity. To substitute sine of pi over 2 minus x become cosine of x and copy the rest. Now we are going to factor cosine of x. So if we factor cosine of x, we went up with cosine of x parenthesis sine square of x minus 1. Now since we see sine square of x, we can, we can use the, Pythago the Pythagorean identity, but there is a problem that we need to have um, 1 in front of sine square of x, so 1 minus sine square of x. So we have to go back and we have to factor one more time. So in this case, go ahead and factor negative 1. So cosine of x times negative 1. And if I factor n negative 1, so I end up with negative sine square of x plus 1. Now if you go back and distribute negative 1 with these two terms, you still end up with sine square of x minus 1. 
Next, we multiply cos sine x times negative 1 be negative cos sine of x. And we rearrange the two terms inside. So we put 1 in front and negative sine square after. So now we can use the Pythagorean identity. So that will give us negative cosine of x times cosine square of x. Next, we will multiply. So that will give us negative cosine to the power 3 of x. So therefore, our conclusion that the expression sine square of x times cosine of x minus sine of pi over 2 minus x, that will be equal to negative cosine to the power 3 of x. So let's write that the summary. In this video, we learned it, how to simplify trigonometric expression using trigonometric identities and factoring Thank you for watching. I will see you in class. Goodbye.